Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have a lovely donut recipe, perfect for Father's Day. My daughter-in-law helped us with this recipe and we tested it on the weekend. It came out lovely, so we thought this was an ideal recipe for Father's Day. So this recipe will go on on a Saturday before Father's Day so that you can make this recipe for your father for Father's Day. It takes a lot of time in resting, so it will require almost half the day. So therefore you have to work with it a day before or very early in the morning. My ingredients for the donut are, I have 400 grams of flour, which I put 200 gram on in one dish and 200 gram in another dish. Because the recipe calls for accurate measurement, so we used our scale. Then I have 200 ml of milk, which I'm gonna warm up before using, and 50 grams of custard sugar, and seven grams of yeast. And here I have an egg, and one egg yolk. I also have 45 gram of butter. My flowers were served before using. To my 200 grams of flour, I made it well, and I warmed up my milk. And then to my milk, I'm gonna add in my custard sugar, and my yeast. And then I will just mix these together so the yeast can get active to the milk. Now I'm going to add in my milk, yeast and sugar to my flour. And I fold it in gently to form a paste. We're going to give this paste 30 minutes to rest and I'm going to clean wrap and keep it in a warm place so the yeast can do its work. My first 30 minutes has passed. As you can see, it rose a little and to this I'm going to put in my additional 200 grams of flour. So I go along the side of I'm going to cream my eggs and butter together. This is my butter and egg that I creamed. So I'm going to add it in to my dry flour. And then using my hands, I'm going to knead my dough for eight millets. After eight minutes of kneading, I am very tired, but here's my dough. I will now cover my dough with a clean wrap and keep it in a warm place for another 30 minutes. This dough has to rise and come double the size. 30 minutes has passed and this is my second rising. You can see it did rise double the amount. And this will make 
12 donuts. You can make them long, you can make them round. Here I have my tray that are lightly flowered. Using my hands, I'm going to divide this. I'm going to divide this into uh, six long donuts and six round donuts. Here's my donut shaped, six long ones and six round ones. Now I'm going to put a dishcloth over it and let this rest for another 20 minutes. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to get my oil eating up. I've got a pan full with five centimeter oil. I'm just going to allow the oil to heat up. I'm just going to fry two at a time. So let me start off with my long donut. I'm going to just keep turning this until it's dark brown. This too is already done. So I'm ready to take it out. Now I'm going to do another two round ones just to show you. These round ones are ready to be taken out. There's a round donut. So now I'll do the rest of the donuts. Now I'm done uh, frying off my round and my long donuts. And then to decorate, I've got melted chocolate. Uh, I have boiled water and I put a bowl over my pot. The water mustn't have contact with the bowl. You can see it's just a bowl. To this I got baking chocolate and I added a teaspoon of coconut oil to give the chocolate the shine. And yeah, Pranesh had whipped some fresh cream with icing sugar and few drops of vanilla essence to it. And he whipped it very well. So it came into this thickness. This first two donuts are schooled a little, so it's easy to handle. So I'm gonna cut in the center. Here you can see it's cooked properly and to this I'm going to add in my fresh cream. And I'll also drizzle some chocolate over it. So here's my donut and I'm going to continue with the rest. As the school, the chocolate will harden a bit. For my round donut, I'm only going to drizzle chocolate upon it. If you want, you can also add cinnamon sugar upon it or substitute the chocolate with icing glaze. Here you go, lovely donuts served with a nice hot cup of coffee. We like to thank my daughter-in-law, 
for the recipe and patiently teaching me how to do it. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And thank you all for watching and enjoy.